guys welcome back to my channel oh my gosh my voice i feel like it sounds weird today's video is gonna be about body care a lot of you guys are asking me to do like all updated health videos so updated hair care video updated body care video updated skin care video so um today's video is gonna be the body care one um, and then I'm gonna do skin and hair and everything like that. Just update you guys on what I've been using. So the things that I take. Um, you guys know I do not believe in medicine. I do not take medicine. I haven't taken any medicine in maybe... I stopped taking medicine when I moved to China because they don't really take medicine either. So maybe four or five years I haven't taken any medicine at all. My family will beg me sometimes to take medicine. I'm like, nope, not gonna happen. I was sick when I went to Milan. That was the first time I had been sick in like three, four years. Um, I never get sick. I was sick for four days. Uh, I had the flu and I know how I got it. I think I know how I got it. I was traveling back and forth from Italy, Switzerland and France and I was going by bus and there was a ton of people on the bus and people were coughing and sneezing all over the place and I think that's how I got sick. Anyways, uh, a lot of you guys asked as well, why do people in Japan wear masks? And some people were saying the pollution's bad there, that's why, that's not true. The pollution is not bad here in Japan. And even if it was, those thin little cardboard masks don't do anything for pollution at all. It's simply thin cardboard. Um, they wear those so they don't cough and sneeze. Japanese people are very polite. Very polite and they don't want to cough and sneeze if they're sick on other people. Or if they notice a lot of people are sick, they'll wear them like you see. Uh, if you go to a, um, a restaurant, all the chefs will have them on. If you go to a, uh, like a store, just somebody buying something, anything, like a drugstore, the cashier will have one on because she doesn't want to get sick. From all the people she's coming in cost or he doesn't want to get sick from all the people coming out it's just a health health precaution so the first thing i do is i drink drink i take fish oil you guys can look up the benefits of fish oil um i can show you mine um this is nature made These are the fish oil pills I take. I bought them here in Japan just because I wanted to re-up on them because I ran out of my last pills. But check with your doctor if you have one and see if it's okay for you to take fish oil. Don't just take what I say. Yeah, I want to say that. Don't just listen to me because I'm not a doctor, okay? I'm just telling you guys what I do and what works for me. Before you do anything, check with your doctor, see what he says, even though most doctors don't know what they're talking about. And, no, they know what they're talking about, but in my opinion, a lot of doctors are in America are trained to make money. So even if you go into the doctor and you say, I have a headache, they're going to prescribe you something because it's their job to prescribe and make money. They're not going to say, go home and drink some lemon water. You're fine, you know? That's all I'm saying. So, but I know there are some good doctors out there. I'm not knocking doctors. This girl, she had this infection. And so her doctor was telling her, take one of these pills every single day and your infection will go away in one, in one week. It was not contagious. The girl showed me the infection and I go, girl, that is just, that's not an infection. I said, go get, oh, that's what I'm gonna talk about today too. I told her, go get some exfoliating gloves. And she's like, what are exfoliating gloves? I'm gonna talk about those today. I'm like, a glove you put on your hand and you exfoliate. I said, do you use those? She said, no. I said, that's why your skin is rough. I said, you just have built up dead skin all over you. And you have a thick patch of like gross dead skin on you. I said, it's on infection. She goes, what are you talking about? I go. Go get exfoliating gloves. I went with her, we got them. Literally in three days, that little infection spot she had was gone. I was like, that's just dead skin, girl. You have built up on you because you don't exfoliate. One thing you need to do is exfoliate. We're gonna get into that anyways, okay. 
let's keep moving next thing i want to talk about is you guys saw in my uh i talked about uh you know intimate health for women a couple videos ago and you guys are asking me to talk about a good brand what do i think is a good brand of wash for your intimate area your vagina because you know that's a delicate area and you can't just use any soap down there so i'm going to talk to you guys about press anybody i'll have all the information down below looks like this Tony sensitive wash i didn't know if it was intimate or sensitive this is a wash great for your intimate area and this is yoni elixir they call it yoni like yoni is like a popular name for like your vagina <laughs> so in case you guys didn't know that i'm sure you, some of you did and this is the oil you guys this oil is so good i showed you guys on my instagram story it's got flowers in it little petals it's so pretty look how pretty that is this stuff is amazing so I've been testing this out it works great I would never ever suggest something to you guys that it's not safe or that I didn't test myself um, this company is a 100% natural handcrafted products um, and when they reached out to me I was like hmm okay send some to me let me see you know if they work if they're good um, this wash is safe for daily use it's paraben free sulfate free uh, GMO free propylene gl glycol free dye free artificial fragrance free uh, cruelty free certified sustained plant-based ingredients so yeah it's amazing and the ingredients are on the soap very important um, there's amazing ingredients in here like chamomile oil sandalwood oil rose water apple cider vinegar coconut oil aloe lavender oil rich hazel and vegetable glycerin you guys this stuff is so good and there's a couple intimate washes that are very popular and the products are just terrible um a lot of things you can't read you can read every single ingredient again the ingredients are all natural um it says on the bottle a natural and gentle way to keep your honey pot sweet but really this oil is a lot of people neglect their armpits and their vagina. There are two areas of your body, just like your legs, just like your hands, just like your face, that need love and attention. Um, a lot of women, I also get a lot of questions in my videos where I show my armpits. How are my armpits not dark? How are they, you know, look so smooth? Why are they, you know how do they look nice it's because i take care of them i'm going to talk to you guys about my scrubbers in a second but i exfoliate my armpits with the rest of my body and i oil and moisturize my armpits like the rest of my body and um i use clean ingredients under my armpits um i don't i told you guys when i stopped eating red meat i stopped having bo like my armpits don't get that smell like the bo smell but i still do wear deodorants it's just you know certain ones a lot of people neglect the vagina and I don't think it's because you don't think about it, but it's just like One there's not a lot of safe things to moisturize down there But I feel like this oil is better because it's a blend of one extra virgin olive oil what I usually used uh, Neem oil tea tree oil, which is great if you have ingrown hairs on your vagina area um if you have ingrown hairs, tea tree oil is amazing for that. Um, but it's good that it's inside of here because tea tree oil, if you just use it straight up, it's too, it's too heavy. Um, hold on. Tea tree oil, aloe, essential oils, and feminine. I'm sorry, the bottle is like reflective. Feminine infused herbs. Yeah, this is so good, and I feel like a little bit goes a long way. I've used this for like two. And a half weeks now and there's only like a little bubble gone can you see like it goes a long way so yeah this stuff is amazing and just for a heads up you don't want to put this inside your vagina just on top the front and in the flabs <laughs> 
dare I say? I don't know. Around it, but not inside the vagina. Inside where, you know, stuff comes out. So, yeah, like I was saying, you don't want to put this, any of this stuff inside, only around and on the outside. Not inside. Do not put it in the whole area. <laughs> don't put it in there. Don't put anything in there. Okay. Just want to say that. Products are amazing. And I have a 10% uh, coupon code for you guys. It's just Mary Jane 10 Mary Jane, my name in all capital letters and 10. You can get 10% off your purchase on this website. It's very important is exfoliating. Do you guys have your, ever heard of a Korean day spa? They have them all over the world, not just in Korea. But Korean day spas are amazing because like they do this thing where it's called like a body detox and they take like very intense exfoliating uh, tools and they literally like scrub your entire body head to toe while you're still dry it's called dry rubbing but just exfoliating your body while it's dry before it gets wet literally releases so many toxins from your body and uh it literally it's there's so many ben benefits to it look it up there's so many benefits to dry rubbing or i think it's what's called dry rub dry rub <laughs> I don't know it's called something and you just exfoliate why you're still dry I do that sometimes not all the time but I also exfoliate my body and you guys saw me talk about these I just got a new set because the last set that I was using uh, they were old so you always want to get new ones you don't want to keep using the same exfoliating mitts all the time these are four I got I just got these off Amazon these are four levels of exfoliating. This one was wet. Obviously, I used it, so it's scrunched up. But there are four levels. This is the most intense one. It's really rough, like really rough. I don't know if you guys can tell. You can't really tell the texture. Or maybe you can. But this would hurt if you did it dry. Yeah, that hurts because it's so rough. This one is the second most rough exfoliating mitt. This one is uh, medium intense, so it's not too uh, too rough. And then this one is the least rough. And so basically, these are just exfoliating mitts you use on your body to exfoliate. So you guys, if you get these, I know some of you guys said you tried them, you loved them, but if you get these mitts, and you've never used this before, you've just been using like a washcloth to wash your body, no, you guys, you don't want to use a washcloth to wash your body. You want to use specific exfoliating. And, like, a lot of people use loofahs, but I can't use loofahs. They're not intense at all. I'm like, it's not doing anything. I need something where, like, I see dead skin coming off of my body, like, for real. But not every time you take a shower. This is just, like, as, as much as you see fit. Um, my skin, everybody who touches me always goes... Um, I don't use these every time. This is just use it as your body needs it. Okay, so it's there's nothing every like I was saying everybody who touches me to touch my skin or whatever, wherever they always say oh my gosh you're so soft and I do pride myself in having very soft skin. Um, it didn't always it's because I exfoliate and I take exfoliating very 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 seriously and I also take cold showers. Um, I talked to you guys about that a long time ago, but yes, some people ask me, do you still take cold showers? I do. I take most of my shower hot, and then I'll end the last, I couldn't even do like 10 minutes before it. Now I can do like 30 minutes cold. It's the same thing with like cryotherapy. Taking cold showers has so many health benefits. It gives you energy. It helps with like brain stimulation. It helps with depression, some people say. Um, same thing with cry cryotherapy. Um, it helps you, uh, your immune system to be stronger. It helps your skin to, your mul the skin cells to close so it holds in moisture. Um, so many benefits to cold showers. But a lot of people, they don't take them because they're like, I don't want to be cold. But that's the part of why it's so good for you. It literally shocks your body. Like, 
and that's what you need so like some people say well mary jane i started taking warm showers but i can't do cold yet and warm showers aren't going to do anything for your body so i think it's kind of pointless to try to ease into it because warm showers aren't really going to do anything for you you just need to take a freezing cold shower just do it you can do it for 20 minutes it's going to be okay you're going to be freaking out like <gasps> And it's gonna be very uncomfortable for you but it's that's the part of why it's so good for you you know and you need that shock you need it to shock your system so you need to make it freezing cold not lukewarm water no cold showers are amazing for you so if you guys want baby soft baby soft skin here's what you want to do get an exfoliating glove Wash your body with your favorite body wash, okay? Scrub the crap out of your body, not every day, with an exfoliating glove, very important. End with a 20 minute freezing cold shower. While you're in the shower, use the Yoni wash. Elixir on the vag area, and this to wash it, and put olive oil or your favorite body oil or your favorite body moisturizer on the rest of your body you'll feel like a different human you'll feel like a different human trust me okay especially if you've never used a good exfoliating mitt those loofahs don't exfoliate you do you guys know how much the human body sheds skin like every day tons even just doing this i can't see it but it's taking dead skin cells off just because the human body is constantly shedding dead skin cells. Um, I used to work in the fitting room at Forever 21. And every single day I would sweep. Like 20 to 30 times a day. Sweep dust out of the stalls. And I asked my boss. Why is there so much dust all the time? In fitting rooms. And she said because people are taking on and off clothes. And it's skin cells. I never knew all that dust in the fitting room was dead skin cells. That's disgusting. A, a shower rag that's not exfoliating you at all. You need something that almost borderline hurts. But don't go too rough. Don't go too rough because you can t burn your skin off. Don't. You'll know when you're about to take your skin off. Don't do that because you'll scar and it'll be terrible. Just do just enough just to exfoliate the dead skin off of your body. I've been using the same lotion forever. It's just the Nivea, the Nivea lotion. It's just Nivea. What is it? Nivea, the blue bottle, just been using that forever. Nothing special. It's a very great lotion, and when I don't use that, I'll find I'll pick something else up. But yeah, that's the lotion I always use. And um, yeah, this is not a skincare video, so I'm not gonna really talk about my face because skincare is gonna come later this week because that's not really body care. That's skincare. But anyways, that's the only thing I really do religiously for my body, and it keeps my body smooth, healthy. It keeps my armpits not dark. It keeps my intimate area not dark or scarred or rough or smelly. And yeah, that's everything I do for body care. I'm trying to think of anything else. I drink lots of water. Lots and lots and lots and lots of water. I'll show you. I drink like two of these a day. You guys already know. My camera's sitting on it right now. So that's why my camera's sitting on the water. Uh, yeah, that's everything I do for body care. Make sure you guys check out Yoni Sensitive Wash and Yoni Elixir. Amazing products. I've tested them out for you guys. You guys can know they're safe. I tested them for you guys. Trust me. And I always check the ingredients before I use something. 100% um, natural, handcrafted ingredients and handcrafted products. It's awesome. How cool is this? I'm obsessed with the look of it. So anyways, I'll have all the information down below. You can use code MaryJane10 for 10% off. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Other questions, just leave them down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.